Hello everyone! I'm Ayana. Today, I'll explain how to make this animation. <laughs> Let's begin! Let's start! Press Ctrl plus I to import the file. Click here to choose Import Kind. Click here to choose Footage Dimensions. Click OK. Double click on this footage to open it. Press Shift plus Shortcut to display multiple properties. Move the indicator. Create a keyframe. Create a keyframe. Press the home key to move the indicator to zero. Change the value of the property. Change the value of the property. Move the indicator. Change the value of the property. Change the value of the property. Press Shift plus Shortcut to display multiple properties. Create a keyframe. Change the value of the property. Move the indicator. Change the value of the property. Create a keyframe. Change the value of the property. Move the indicator. Change the value of the property. Press Shift plus F9 to apply Easy Easen. Click this button to create a new composition. Change the composition name. Change the duration. Change the background. Click OK. Click OK. Click on this button to select the shape tool. Double click here to make a full size shape. Change the fill color. Click OK. Change the stroke width. Change the stroke color. Click OK. Change the name. Press S to display only the scale. Click on Constraint Proportions checkbox. Change the value of the property. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Change the fill color. Click OK. Press Ctrl plus the left bracket key to move the selected layer down. Press Numpad to select a layer. Press Y to select the anchor point tool. Press V to switch the selection tool. Press
press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Click on Constraint Proportions checkbox. Change the value of the property. Change the value of the property. Click on Constraint Proportions checkbox. Change the value of the property. Click on this button to create a mask for layer. Double click here to make a full size shape. Click on Constraint Proportions checkbox. Change the value of the property. Change the value of the property. Click Layer on the menu bar. Select New. And select Null Object. Press Shift to select multiple layers. Select layer from which to inherit transforms. Press numpad to select a layer. Press S to display only the scale. Move the indicator. Create a keyframe. Change the value of the property. Move the indicator. Change the value of the property. Move the indicator. Click here to add keyframe at current time. Move the indicator. Change the value of the property. Press numpad to select a layer. Search in the search box. Search in the search box. Move the indicator. Create a keyframe. Create a keyframe. Create a keyframe. Press S to display only the scale. Create a keyframe. Press U to display all properties that have keyframes. Move the indicator. Change the value of the property. Move the indicator. Press G to select the pen tool. Move the indicator. Press the comma key to zoom out the composition screen. Press F2 to deselect all.
change the stroke. Change the name. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus the lift bracket key to move the selected layer to the bottom. Select layer from which to inherit transforms. Search in the search box. Create a keyframe. Move the indicator. Click here to add keyframe at current time. Press U to display all properties that have keyframes. Press G to select the pen tool. Press the period key to zoom in the composition screen. Move the indicator. Move the indicator. Press V to switch the selection tool. Select this footage. Drag and drop to the timeline panel. Select layer from which to inherit transforms. Press S to display only the scale. Change the value of the property. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus P to change the value of the position. Press Shift plus forward slash key so the composition fits the screen. Click this button to create a new composition. Change the composition name. Change the width. Change the height. Change the duration. Change the background. Click OK. Click OK. Press G to select the pen tool. Change the name. Move the indicator. Search in the search box. Create a keyframe. Press U to display all properties that have keyframes. Move the indicator. Click here to add keyframe at current time. Move the indicator. Press G to select the pen tool. Press Ctrl plus C to copy. Move the indicator. Press Ctrl plus V to paste. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Change the name. Click layer on the menu bar. Select transform. And click flip horizontal. Press F2 to deselect all.
press Ctrl plus Alt plus Home to center the anchor point to the object. Change the name. Press G to select the pen tool. Press F2 to deselect all. Click View on the menu bar. Select Log Guides. Change the name. Search in the search box. Move the indicator. Create a keyframe. Move the indicator. Press G to select the pen tool. Press V to switch the selection tool. Press U to display all properties that have keyframes. Press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Click this button to display the graph editor. Select Edit Speed Graph. Adjust the graph. Apply effect to this layer. Click this list box to change. Change the value of the property. Change the value of the property. Move the indicator. Create a keyframe. Change the value of the property. Move the indicator. Change the value of the property. Press Ctrl plus A to select all layers. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to quickly pre-compose selected layers and rename it. Click Layer on the menu bar. Select New. And select Null Object. Select layer from which to inherit transforms. Press Shift plus Shortcut to display multiple properties. Move the indicator. Create a keyframe. Create a keyframe. Press the Home key to move the indicator to zero. Change the value of the property. Change the value of the property. Press Ctrl plus N to create a new composition. Change the composition name. Change the width. Change the height. Change the duration. Change the background. Click OK. 
Click OK. Select this footage. Drag and drop to the timeline panel. Select this footage. Drag and drop to the timeline panel. Click this button to transform composition layers or continuously radicize vector layers. Move the indicator. Press the left bracket key to move the endpoint of the selected layer to the current time. Press shift plus forward slash key so the composition fits the screen. Press shift plus shortcut to display multiple properties. Move the indicator. Create a keyframe. Change the value of the property. Change the value of the property. Move the indicator. Change the value of the property. Press Ctrl plus I to import the file. Select this footage. Drag and drop to the timeline panel. Press the home key to move the indicator to zero. Press spacebar to preview. <laughs> this is the end of today's lecture. See you again in the next lecture. See you soon. Bye.